Uh, hello everyone, my name is Yu Liu Wen and this is my first year as a PhD candidate in last 3 d program. Uh, my main supervisor is uh, Professor Leon from Luxembourg University and today I'm going to uh, talk about a principle-based approach to bipolar augmentation. Before introducing our main content, I'd like to answer uh, these three questions uh, first which are the foundations of our research. The, these are uh, what is the principle-based approach and why do we need it in argumentation theory and why did we choose bipolar argumentation frameworks? And for short, we call it buffs. Uh, first of all, what is principle-based approach? The principle-based or uh, axiomatic approach is a methodology to choose uh, argumentation semantics for a particular application or um, and to guide the search for new argumentation semantics. But why do we need to choose a semantics or we can say why do we need this approach in argumentation theory? Because uh, there are many semantics and uh, each semantic represents a kind of attitude or a style of reasoning according to different applications. Uh, like in Dong's famous paper in 1995, he proposed the classical semantics such as the grounded, preferred, uh, stable semantics in which the uh, grounded semantics with uh, the minimal set of uh, acceptable uh, Argument represents a skeptical attitude to make cautious decisions, while uh, the preferred semantics represent the tolerant attitude, and while uh, stable semantics represent the uh, related property of minimizing the unstand on a decided argument. And then after Dong's theory, there are many other semantics like the prudent semantics, semi-stable semantics, or uh, ideal semantics, and so on. Uh, and different application domains may require different styles of reasoning reflected by different semantics flavors. That's why we need a principle-based approach to help us uh, distinguish different kinds of semantics in uh, different scenarios. Then, why did we choose uh, buffs? Uh, in his requirement uh, analysis for formal argumentation, Golden poses the following definition covering more clearly argumentation and deliberation as well as persuasion dialogues. Argument, argumentation is a rational process, typically in dialogues for making and justifying decisions of uh, various kinds of issues in which arguments pro and con uh, alternative resolutions of the issues, options or positions are put forward, uh, evaluated, resolved and balanced. So at um, abstract level, it seems that these pro and con arguments can be represented more easily in so-called bipolar argumentation frameworks, which contains besides uh, attack relation, also a support relation among arguments. Based on the above, uh, some new questions come out. Uh, for example, how to calculate the semantics of a buff and how to give a comparison of the buff semantics. And indeed, uh, it remains controversial how to use support relations to compute the extensions. And the notion of support is much more diverse than attack so that there is much less consensus on the interpretation of support and each variant of support can, use, uh, can be used for uh, different applications. And according to the uh, existing literature, most of them distinguish deductive support, necessary support, and evidential support. Uh, deductive support captures the intuition that if A supports B, then the acceptance of A implies the acceptance of B. Uh, and as a consequence, the, the, uh, the non-acceptance of B implies the uh, non-acceptance of A. And necessary support captures the intuition that if A supports B, then the acceptance of A is necessary to get the acceptance of B, or equivalently, the acceptance of B implies the acceptance of A. 
uh, while the evidential support distinguish uh, prima facie from standard uh, arguments, where prima facie arguments do not require any support from others, uh, while standard arguments must be supported by uh, at least one prima facie argument. So here we can see uh, the evidential support is very different from the other two. So next we are going to talk about uh, mainly um, deductive support and necessary support and leave the evidential support uh, in this uh, presentation, uh, but you can find the details in our paper. So here uh, you can see uh, figure two. We have uh, among them the supported attack and mediated attack are based on the deductive interpretation. Like here uh, in sub figure A, uh, we have A support C, C attacks B. So the uh, acceptance of A implies the acceptance of C. The acceptance of C implies the non-acceptance of B. So here we add the, the indirect attack from A to B, and we call it supported attack. And uh, here we have, in, in subfigure B, we have A attack C and B uh, support C. And the acceptance of A implies the non-acceptance of C. The non-acceptance of C implies the non-acceptance of B, so that we add A mediated attacks B. Then uh, the secondary attack and uh, extended attack are based on the uh, necessary uh, interpretation. Here we have A uh, attacks C and C supports B. The acceptance of A implies the, uh, the non-acceptance of C, and the non-acceptance of C implies the non-acceptance of B, so that we add this uh, secondary attack from A to B. And here, uh, for the similar uh, inference, we have, uh, we have the, uh, the, the acceptance of A implies the acceptance of C, and uh, the acceptance of C implies the non-acceptance of B, so that we add this A in extended attacks B. And th this figure is very important, so I will put it at the bottom of other slides afterwards. Now we uh, rephrase the different kinds of indirect attacks as an intermediate step towards semantics for buffs. Uh, the reductions can be used together with definitions in DAWN theory to define the semantics of a buff. And, uh, and uh, the definition of the reductions are a bit long, so uh, it, it, it may be not readable for you. So I'm going to give you an um, example to make it easier to comprehend. Uh, here we have an initial buff, and uh, the RS is a supported reduction. Here we add A supported attacks D because we have A supports C and C attacks D. Also, this is, uh, we call it mediated reduction. Here we add D mediated attack C because uh, you can see this subgraph because uh, A supports C and uh, uh, C attacks D. And here um, we call it secondary uh, uh, reduction. And for short, we, we write it as um, R2 because A supports C and uh, uh, sorry, uh, B attacks A, so then we add this uh, B secondary attack C. And here also we call it extended reduction and we add this C extended attacks B. And uh, we have uh, the other reductions called a deductive reduction and necessary reduction. Uh, in this one, we call it a deductive reduction. Here we uh, deal with the uh, supported uh, attack and the mediated attack at the same time, so that we have uh, A attacks D and D also uh, attacks A. And here we deal with the uh, secondary attack and the extended attack at the same time, so that we have uh, B and C attacks each other. And finally, uh, it comes to our principle-based approach. Here we investigate four kinds of um, classical semantics of Dawn theory, the so grounded, complete, preferred, and stable semantics. And we have 14 principles. 
So here we have uh, four down uh, semantics and uh, four reductions, uh, these four. And so that we have um, 16 automatic, uh, automatic semantics, sorry. And also because we have the deductive reduction and natural reduction and um, the four down semantics, we, uh, we have eight iterative semantics. And uh, uh, we all also have four evidential semantics that defined directly. So uh, now we have 28 uh, above semantics in total, and we have a table uh, actually of uh, 28 times 14 combinations of above semantics and, uh, uh, and the principles. And this table is quite large, so we don't, we don't visualize it in as a brain metric. So uh, we, we, we visualize it as a table of seven times 14, and in each square of the matrix, we write a subject, subset of CGPS uh, for representing different semantics separately. And here I only choose uh, several pro uh, principles and the corresponding examples to show how we get the uh, result and how we use the principle-based approach uh, due, to, due to the time limitation. And like here, we have uh, principle eight, which is uh, co called inverse closure. It says that uh, given, uh, given above for all extensions uh, and for all A, B belongs to A, if A supports B and B belongs to E, then A belongs to E. And we have proposition uh, three says that attack, uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I need to, my, my, my theory wakes up, so I need to turn, on, turn, turn off it. Okay, let's continue. Uh, uh, the R2 and RE satisfy principle eight for all semantics. And we have proof three to prove the proposition three. We use the proof by contradiction. Here we um, assume R2 does not satisfy principle eight. So uh, that means there is an argument, uh, uh, argument B belongs to um, extension E, but A does not belong to E, where the A supports B. That means uh, there exists this um, argument C attacks A, but there is no argument D uh, attacks C to define A. A. And also remember that the, here the inter, uh, interpretation of the support is necessary. So uh, we have C secretary attacks B. But, uh, but again, we don't have uh, an argument D to define B. So uh, the E is not uh, admissible. There is a con contradiction between that E is not admissible and E is complete. So uh, here we use the proof and to prove that the for uh, R2 and uh, principle eight, we, uh, we, here we fill the space with GCPS. And another principle we have is called number of extension. That means that uh, um, when we add uh, a support relation, the number of extension will, uh, extension will uh, decrease. And then we use uh, the proof to prove R2 does not satisfy principle nine for preferred semantics. Look, uh, like here, we have an initial buff and we have the preferred semantics B, C. But here we add C uh, supports B, and here uh, again, the, the interpretation of the support is necessary. So we add A secondary attacks B. So now uh, for the new above, we have the uh, prefer preferred semantics uh, A and B, C. So the number uh, did, did not decrease. So that's why we only fill uh, this space uh, with G representing the granted, granted semantics. Okay, uh, to conclude, uh, we give a complete analysis of 28 buff semantics and 14 buff uh, principles. 
24 of these uh, semantics are for deductive and necessary support and defined using a reduction and four other semantics are uh, defined directly. And uh, here for the principles, we consider five principles directly corresponding to the different kinds of indirect attack, uh, three basic uh, principles connecting, um, concerning uh, conflict-free and the closure of extensions, and three dynamic principles uh, and a generalized directionality pr principle and two supported arguments principles. Also, uh, this paper contributes to a further understanding of the concept of support using a principle-based analysis. And some of the 14 principles we study in this paper turned out to uh, discriminate the various reduction based, uh, um, uh, based, uh, based semantics of buff and they are therefore be used to choose one semantics over another. And some other principle, uh, principles always hold uh, or never, and then therefore can guide the search for new semantics for buffs. buffs. Like here, uh, we have principle 13 and 14 distinguish evidential uh, uh, and the deductive necessary support, uh, because uh, you can look at the result here. And the principle uh, 9, which never holds, can be used in the future search for semantics. Uh, according to uh, concerning to the future work, I think uh, there uh, there is possi possibility for us to explore the uh, similarity reductions for preference based uh, frameworks and also uh, for buffs. And uh, another way is to extend this work by investigating more uh, principles and then more uh, semantics for buffs, and also this is uh, our main research purpose. Okay, uh, my presentation is it, and thank you for your attention. All the comments and uh, uh, questions are highly welcomed.